Hello everyone, welcome to Altakis. I am Pankish Rai and in this video I am going to talk about how you can distribute your Android app to the testers right from the Android Studio. Well, Firebase App Distribution is one of the free services offered by Firebase. Through that you could distribute your Android or iOS application. Not just this, you can even keep track of the list of testers who have accepted and downloaded the builds. You may even revoke the access for them. That means for all those testers whose access got revoked, now from the shared download link, they are not able to download the build once again. So you get all these features right from the single platform called Firebase App Distribution. Now in this video, we'll see how we can get started for our Android app and distribute it to the testers. For that, let's switch to build.gradle and add the dependencies. But before that, do remember one thing that this is service of Firebase. That means you need to configure the Firebase first in your project. Once you have configured the Firebase, then you can take advantage of the service. So I've already configured the Firebase in this project. Now let me configure the app distribution service. For that, let me add the class path first. Then the plugin ID. After this, for the debug type, let me configure the app distribution. Now inside this Firebase app distribution, I can specify my release notes and the list of testers. Now in case if I have a lengthy release note, then instead of having release notes, I could also have release notes file. Then I can specify the path for the text file, something like this. So either I could use release notes and specify the notes directly, or I can specify the link to the text file. Any of this is okay. Then let's specify the list of testers. Here I have to specify the email ID for those testers. So let me say something like abc at the rate gmail.com. If it is just a single tester, then it's well and good. But if it's more than one, then I could specify multiple email IDs separated by comma. Say xyz at the rate gmail.com. Here we can also specify about the artifact type where I could say either it's app bundle or the APK. But one thing to remember is that if you specify artifact type as AAB, then you should also have the Play Store account. That Play Store account should get linked in the Firebase. But in case you do not have a Play Store account, then no need to worry. You can just upload the APK and it doesn't require any Play Store account there. So you can either specify APK or you can omit this step. Now for the debug type, I have configured this Firebase app distribution. If I want the same thing for the release too, then I can just copy and paste it for release. Or in case I need to add few more tester for the release build, then I can again add it here. With the comma separated email IDs, I can specify those IDs too. So let's sync the project. And now the next step is about the authorization. Before sending this build for the tester, it's important for us to authorize 
ourselves that we are the genuine owner of this project. For that, there are various ways. One of the easiest way is using the Firebase CL. For that, open terminal and write Firebase login. Then authorize yourself. Then select the project on which you have enabled this app distribution service. And this is just a one time process. After that, you do not have to do this once again, even though you restart your machine. Then just run the Gradle command to upload and distribute this APK to the list of testers that you have mentioned here in this Firebase app distribution. So the Gradle command is Gradle W assemble debug app distribution upload debug now this debug is the build type if you do for the release then it will be assembled release app distribution upload release but as i said this service is for uploading the apk and distributing it to the testers for that we should have the apk first so for this you have to first build the apk once the APK is built, then you can run this command. The best feature that it offers here is say you did some sort of changes. Now, if you want to redistribute this to the testers, then again do the same process. Create APK, run this command, and the testers will get an email regarding the new build so that they could start testing on that build. Okay, so the build is successful and now this APK will get uploaded on Firebase. The email will be sent to those email IDs which are specified here so that they could accept the invite and start downloading and then testing your application. So that's it. With this little step, you have added the app distribution service to your project and now right from the Android Studio, you could distribute this APK to the testers. If you have liked this video, then do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel so as to get the videos on the latest topics of Android, Kotlin, and Firebase. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.